Oh. I'm, uh, I'm not dating Lisa. Then what are you not doing exactly with her? Anyway. I think I have the right to know. I mean, after all, I am your wife. It's complicated. Outrageous. A blatant disregard for human frailty. What must a poor invalid do to get medical attention around here? For God's sake, hurry. Can't you see I'm about to expire? Sir, what seems to be the problem? Apart from my being forced to wait in blizzard-like conditions for someone to retrieve my diseased corpus from the taxi while the meter continued to run? Could someone take care of the taxi driver? He's owed $10.35 minus tip. Uh, what seems to be the medical problem? Where to begin? Blinding head pain, blurred vision, lower body paralysis, and now frostbite. Okay, sir, how many, uh, how many fingers am I holding up? You expect me to distinguish between fingers? I can't even make out how many doctors are in front of me. Are there three or four of you? There's two. Better summon a few more. I suspect my myriad of grievances will provide insights for medical journals for years to come. Yeah. <clears throat> You're in good hands, Mr. Huffman. Theo Huffman. Mr. Hoffman, uh, this is Dr. Weber. He is the chief of staff here, and this is Dr. Drake. He's one of the best neurologists in the country. We can only pray. I'm not too far gone for assistance of any sort, given that I'm under assault from an advanced glioblastoma in my frontal lobe. Oh, so we're, uh, when were you diagnosed? I'm here to be diagnosed. Have you any intention of upholding the Hippocratic Oath, or should I just sit here quietly and die? Self-diagnosed brain tumor. Why don't you save yourself the trouble and I'll call psych. How them handle it? Mr. Hoffman is complaining of head pain and blurred vision. If we send him up to psych without an evaluation, they're going to send him right back down. Thank you, Dr. Hammer. Dr. Garrett. Detective, can I help you? Uh, no. I was just going to go talk to Dr. Weber. Oh, well, Dr. Weber is busy right now. But uh, if you take a seat, he'll be with you as soon as he can. Has the unfeeling staff sent you over here to die, too? Be fooled. Underneath their apathetic exteriors lies raging indifference. These so-called professionals would rather see our rotting carcasses in these chairs than to lift a finger and perform a single exam. This hospital is the very definition of purgatory. I may as well be playing the damnation scene from Faust. Poor Don Giovanni engulfed by the flames of hell. You know opera? Yeah, come on, don't act so surprised. It's not often I meet someone who shares my enthusiasm. I got a thing for a tragic love story. And what, may I ask, is your take on Gutter Dameron? I always felt that the drowning of Siegfried would have been more effective earlier in the third act. Well, Siegfried was stabbed, not drowned, by Hagen. But then you knew that, didn't you? Dr. Just Dr. checking. <laughs> uh, Epiphany said you wanted to see me. Yeah. You uh, got a minute? Yeah, sure. Oh, hey, it was, uh, it was nice meeting you. Always happy to meet a fellow opera enthusiast. <laughs> this is preposterous. The chief of staff has time to chat while diseased flesh is left to fester? Have you somehow forgotten that I'm still being denied care over here? Oh, Dr. Niles, how nice of you to join us. Sorry about that, I had a personal emergency. Oh. <laughs> I don't care where you've been. All I care about is how many of these patients you can take off my hands. Dr. Ralston to oncology. Dr. James Ralston to oncology. A second autopsy shouldn't be a problem. Just put in for a transfer and I'll make sure you have the hospital's full cooperation. I appreciate that. It could be the break in the investigation we've been looking for. The Green Falls Police Department is sending the remains of a suspected felon for a second autopsy. The name is Alexander Janicek. Make sure the morgue is away. Like we don't have enough mob casualties of our own. All right, Mr. Hoffman, just walk over and take a seat, and I'll get back to you as soon as your test results are in. You call that an exam? 
What's next? I wait another several hours for you to apply leeches to bleed out the ill humor? Not enough leeches in the world. We'll run more tests if necessary, all right? Uh, why bother? I'll simply shuffle off this mortal coil. At the pace you people work around here, my remains will be discovered sometime in January. We're doing everything we can. You're doing nothing. I have a tumor pressing on my brain. A simple exam is not going to cure me. Well, then why don't I call the lab and put a rush on those scans? So I could be on my way, hmm? God forbid you people take the time to actually treat Dr. me. Dr. Hoffman's test results are conclusive. No glioblastoma, no tumor of any kind. Mm, so Steve was right. Mr. Hoffman is a major hypochondriac. Yeah, and he wants everybody to know about it. I have health insurance, three different policies. That should guarantee me an MRI at the very least. I'll call psych. No, wait, you know what? Let me talk to him. Maybe he needs some attention from a female doctor. Oh. You're a saint. <laughs> Dr. Leslie Floyd, pick up line two. Dr. Leslie Floyd, pick well, up line two. Hey, it's me. I'm dying over here. Not to worry. I'll go quietly. Mm, no such luck. Are you working? <sighs> yes, yeah. I was ready to come back. Oh. Well, maybe you should, um... Take tomorrow off and hang out with me. Actually, I'm almost done. What about tonight? I can't tonight. I have to go to this stupid party. Ah, uh, the crazy life of the celebrity do-gooder. Exactly. Slap on a <clears throat> smile. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and try to have fun, okay? <laughs> Bye. Dr. Bach, call 691. Dr. George Bach, call 691. Hello? Thank you. So, Mr. Hoffman, looks like I have some good news for you. <laughs>